Hi, this is Neve and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today I'm going to be using up two pages in my Dina Wakely journal and creating two quick art journal pages. So you can see I've got this page that I'm starting to work on. Um, the background of the coloured paints was actually some new Amsterdam uh, acrylic paints that I would got. They're not my usual colour palette and I'm still not 100% sure if I like. I love the paint, it's really thick and creamy, but I'm not 100% sure I love the colours I chose. Um, so I started stamping out um, playing with my new Tim Holtz mic making set which I love and I was using the black on it but when I put the white over it's just such a crisp white image that I really loved it so um, the white that I'm using and the black at the moment is the Jane Davenport's uh, squid ink so it's a hybrid ink um, and it goes over everything. The page I'm working on at the moment is a canvas page <clears throat> you can see the torn edge there um, so just working over the top of it. It wasn't gessoed, I just put the acrylic paint straight onto the page so possibly not the truest colours because it doesn't have the white underneath but they are very very opaque paints and very very detailed. Uh, same with the stamps obviously aren't opaque but they're very detailed stamps and you can see the beautiful line work that comes up in it. I really love those leaves and how they stamp up. So I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do for this page apart from the fact that it was sitting in my journal I'm near the end and I just wanted to do something with it and you can see my other page there um, I was doing concurrently when I was doing the background with the paints because I was whenever I was painting something down I was washing my brush off on the other page. Um, the page on the left hand side is the cotton rag paper so you can see it's sort of absorbed in slightly again that wasn't a gessoed page so at the moment I'm just playing around with some stencils and seeing what I can do and I saw a technique where someone put down a mask like stencil like one of these and put black paint over the top and the reveal was beautiful when they pulled off the paint so I wanted to do something like that uh, I wish I hadn't in the end because it didn't really appeal to me the way it worked and particularly using this I thought by using this stencil and um, because it had the height and the background I would actually be able to keep some of the background that I'd done a little bit more than um, I would if I'd used another stencil but in the end it didn't really work as well as I wanted it to the other thing that I struggled with on this page <clears throat> excuse me was while the Amsterdam paints are fabulous they're actually a little bit more liquidy than I'm used to using. I'm used to using the Dina Wakely heavy bodied paints which when you st um, stencil with them they are quite thick you don't need very much on and they go a long way and I found with this one it bled underneath because it's just that little bit more liquidy that um, the paint bled under the bottom uh, so I wasn't particularly happy with how it sort of turned out and the background is probably too busy for the stencil it just doesn't really tie together or make sense so I was really really struggling with what I want to do with it so while I was trying to work it out I decided that I'd just go on to the other page and I thought I need something to balance this dark page so obviously I broke out my neon colors again these are the Amsterdam paints which I adore and um, they're really really bright and I started adding in some of those brights onto the other page just to pull back that black a little bit because it was just too much for me so you can see already on the left hand side it's a much more cheerful page than it was before so going in with my heat gun just to dry it off um, because it is painted on fairly thinly most of this dries fairly quickly it does take a lot longer for paint to dry on the canvas because it retains the moisture for longer so you do need to be a little bit patient with that while you're going. On the right hand side page I received my new design team kit from ScrapFX which was full of lots of sort of arty phrases and dream catches and all sorts of different bits and pieces. So I thought that I might be able to use those on that page. 
particularly because it had that sort of open background it had that flowery image I thought it tied in somewhat with the page and it would pull focus by putting something so white on the page it could perhaps pull focus from the busy background so because it's chipboard um, I'm having to put a few layers of white paint over the top just to make really make it as white as possible if you don't have white paint you can use a paint pan or something like that on on the chipboard just to make it sort of stand out a little bit so I liked how this tied into the background of that mic making it sort of broke through that black a little bit and tied it together now these are the new alphabet stamps from scrap fx as well so they're little foam stamps they come on three strips but i cut them apart so i could use them individually so they're just mounted on some thick acrylic um, film and you can cut them apart so they work um, for you I really love working with the foam stamps because they absorb a lot of ink and paint so um, you get quite an opaque coverage with them and I decided that I'd go back to using the squid ink because I knew I was getting good impression with that so my mantra or what I'm stamping out here I think I end up going with just make uh, and the reason for that was that's what I did on this page I didn't really have an idea I know I just wanted to make this page and some days you have pages like that in your art journal they may not be your favorite pages but you've still made them you've still done some art you've still got your hands painting and that's really really important just that process of um, getting into your creative head space and just doing something I also really love it because even unsuccessful pages you've had to do some creative problem solving and that's a bit I really love about doing artwork and doing things like this is while I enjoy the end product I really love the the challenges of oh you've put that there that looks silly what are you going to do to fix it up or how are you going to balance that out so I love that creative problem solving as you go along so pages like this are really really important for just challenging yourself and pushing yourself to do what you can so that was kind of the end of that page I was still trying to find some words or something just to sort of put in the middle um, I can't really remember if I did do anything in it so I put out the paint and I decided well, I have to use that so I continued on with my other page and that's one of my favorite stencils from Dina Wakeley which is the stars so I broke that out and I decided that I'd go back to my comfort wheelhouse I suppose which is the bright colors and a lot of Dina Wakely products um, because they're my favorite to use they're ones that I use a lot and I feel very comfortable with because I'd struggled so much with the other page I wanted to do something that wasn't as hard work I suppose I also had some new things I wanted to play with so these are some gel prints I'd done on some deli paper and one of her new stamp sets which I think is called you I want and I stamped onto here but the background was too dark and it was just a little bit too busy so I've got this beautiful sort of sunset one again using those bright uh, neon colors with a little bit of white and I just really loved how this stood out so I'm going to use that other page for something uh, it just didn't go into this journal for the gel print too, uh, I tore it out so I ended up with those rough edges. Uh, again, I really don't like having straight edges in my work or having cut edges. I find that it's just a little bit too stark and having something a little bit more organic helps. So once I cut out, <coughs> or I tore it out, sorry, my gel print, I needed to glue it into my page. And while I was doing that, I came across my other set of new stamps, which had um, some arty words that I thought would fit into the other page. So while I was waiting for that, I decided I'd go in with some of the orange neon paint and use this um, Spill and Write and Paint and Colour and Stamp stencil, which I use a lot um, in my art journal because it's what I do in my art journal. And it's... A nice reminder in the background of 
you know, this is what you're doing. And it kind of tied in with the other page of the Just Make. Just Make Art, this is what you're doing. When I've finished with the stenciling, I'm just going into my matte medium. I'm being quite generous to glue down that paper so I get a nice flat edge to it and gluing it in. Then I'm going in with the quote and I'm just putting it between two things and it says stop thinking just paint which is basically what I did on that page. It sort of just summed up how that page came together. On the girl on the other page I'm using another quote which says um, art is freedom, art is sanctuary and bliss. Art is freedom and sanctuary and bliss. Again kind of summing up um, what art is to me. One of my favourite things to do when I have these faces is just to put the whites of the eye in and a little bit of colour in the iris because it draws your eye to it straight away. When I had the paint pens out I decided to add the turquoise to the dream catcher as well because it reminded me of a lot of the Mexican and American Indian artefacts I saw when I was in Arizona. Um, there's a lot, a lot of turquoise and so that just sort of tied it together for me. So these are the two pages I've used on pages that were just used our pages in my journal. They, some were a struggle, some were a joy to do, but I'm glad how they all turned out in the end. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have been using your used up journals too and until next time, bye for now.